I mean, I wouldn't say it's zero. I mean, he might just say, I want to sign a one-year contract and try this again next year. So I wouldn't say it's a zero chance. I'd say it's close to zero. I mean, Aaron Boone yesterday at the Thurman Munson dinner said, we have a team that we think right now can compete for championship. He said, it's not my decision, but I think we're done with any big personnel moves. But if the market comes back to them and Machado says, I'll play for one year or whatever, I was talking to a big-time agent today who said if it was up to him and he was representing Machado, he'd take Machado to Japan. Really? He said there's, there's an owner there, I forget which team he said, has so much money, went to Harvard, is, I mean, loaded, loaded like beyond belief. And he said he should take him there and give him a $50 million contract for one year. I mean, he the said, longer that, this... He said that would be the way to play. The hope for Yankee fans is the longer this goes, that eventually they become a player again because the money is going to start to work. Like, seven for 175 now sounds believable. He's got to sign for something at some He's point. He's got to sign for something. So maybe the Yankees just waiting weird. for that. Listen, 10 years, 325, no. 10 years, 300, no. Seven for 200, no. But maybe this becomes a, a six for 150. I don't know. Or maybe it does become just, hey, all right, I'll, maybe next year will be better. I'll sign a one-year deal with somebody, win a championship, win the MVP of the World Series, and then everybody's going to want me. I don't, I don't know what his thinking's going to be. Now, you, you wonder, do the Yankees change their thinking? Because it's always been the thought. I mean, no, nobody from the Yankees ever spoke this out loud, that they were waiting for Nolan Arenado. And it looks like Arenado was about to sign a big money extension with the Rockies, which would take him out of free agency for next year. So if you know that there's no chance of getting him, are you content with Andujar being your third baseman for the next 10 years. If you're not, and you were banking on Andujar playing one year and then go hard after Arnado, well, then maybe you do change your direction and pivot if that signing is announced, and then you go well, after Machado. I don't know. Here's the one thing you, do can, you can hang your hat on, is that J.D. Martinez signed late in February, and he ended up signing with the team that won the World Series. So is it possible that this will be somewhere late February, Yankees swoop in, say, okay, we'll sign them, a la the Teixeira deal back in 2009. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, we'll do it. The longer it lasts, Michael, the more the Yankees, I guess, are in play. The more yeah. Yankee fans can believe. Here's the difference between what J.D. did last year. From the beginning of spring training, the Red Sox had a five-year, $100 million offer, and they felt that that was the best offer he was going to get because he was a guy who couldn't play defense. And they just waited. And Boris thought he was going to get more. And waited. Mm -hmm. And waited. And waited. And waited. And then Boris knew that it was the only offer, negotiated with the Red Sox, got up to 110 for five years with opt-outs. So he can opt out after the 2019 season. Yankees haven't even made Machado an offer. As far as I know, they haven't yeah, even made him know. an offer. So I don't know who has offers out there for him. But and now there's word that the Giants have moved in, and they're players for Harper. So who knows if a, a distressed market's going to attract more teams?